here with Suns fan. You guys might know him from quality productions like Nothing. Fails of the Week. <laughs> no, that's not quality. That's yeah. not quality. What are you Come talking on. about? I love that. I love that. I watch it every week. It takes literally five minutes to make. How yeah. does that make you feel? That makes me feel great. Okay. I mean, I, I like watching it. I like you and Reeves. I like the. <laughs> I like watching other people remind me that I'm not terrible at Dota. Yeah, that, I guess that wasn't really the goal, but it ends up being what everybody feels at the end of the day, right? So, like, I, I like to think that like there's just a ton of people being this bad, and I'm just like I'm like really good, you know? Yeah, that's that's also a nice benefit, I guess, yeah. from fails of the week. It's like going to the the Forever Alone subreddit. You ever been to that one? I have not, but it sounds really lonely. Yeah, it's it, if you ever feel lonely, just go there, and then you'll you'll feel fine. All right, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Okay. Um, so, you know, uh, gotta get these questions out of the way. What uh, you 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 guys you guys had a an incident on stream. Um, what uh, bouncing back from that? How how is that? It was a real dream to say the least. Uh, no, it was obviously really weird. I guess I don't have to be too close to the mic. I can be far away, right? That's yeah, yeah, it's fine. Um, it was very surreal as it was happening, and the funny thing is, once it was over, like when the cops came in and rescued us, uh, the first thing I did, it's just because, it just shows how much of a nerd I am. I, I checked Reddit, and we're top of Reddit. I'm like, yeah, we're top of Reddit. No, not really, but it was, it was very, I said surreal before, and it took me probably a couple days to kind of get over for the most part, mostly because I'm dead inside, so it's a very fast recovery process. Um, but you're like an internet person. You're used to anything at this point. It's yeah. probably easier for you to get over it just because it's like, you know, like <laughs> the, the internet, another one thing yeah. that happens to no, people. Like The internet has pre prepared me for robbery, so that's one good thing about the internet. They saved you so. from robbery. They, they were watching the stream and they called the police, right? Yeah, so... I will say, so this is actually a serious moment. I have not cried about the whole thing, even though it was a very scary experience, but the closest I came was on the ride back to my uh, parents' house at the time, like the day of, and it was because I was just thinking about all the people, because I haven't heard the whole story, but I knew that there was a lot of people that helped us out uh, via Twitch and some of our personal friends. And it's just, at the end of the day, it was like the, I don't want to get into the whole specifics because we could talk about this for 30 minutes, but everything that happened as far as the robbery is concerned, it was completely bad bad luck, like they got the wrong people. Um, it, it, like if, you, if I look back now, it's like the devil was on their side, so to speak, right? But then at the same time, I'm not a very religious person. Everything fell into place perfectly. Like the person that they ended up contacting is the, literally the only person that knows where we live. Like he was just happened to be up at 5 a.m. playing Dota at the time. Like it's just, yeah. I don't know, it's, it's kind of overwhelming, but it's, everything just fell into place perfectly. And it's just, I have no idea how that's Possible. But obviously the Twitch chat, although they are known to be very toxic in nature, um, they they saved us for sure. So they're the uh, they're the chat you deserve, or the chat you need rather than what is it? I'm trying it's to make the a Batman, Batman quote, reference. and yeah. you just okay. failed. It's fine. I, we can move on. Okay, okay. yeah, we're moving on. Um, <laughs> Dota Cinema, obviously doing quite well these days. Um, I, I see you guys just getting the content out, getting a lot of views. Um, what do you, uh, I mean, that's gotta be, that's gotta be nice. You know, your, like, your business essentially doing so well, having such high profile. What do you, what do you guys plan on doing? Investing more into it, hiring more people? I know you guys got Cinderin now. Yeah, cinderin has been a big help for the competitive side. I mean, we've been very casual in nature and I come from a competitive background, so it's kind of a transition for me to, you know, do something a little bit more casual. But uh, I think the casual scene, we're trying to like transform them, give them a stepping stone in order to become competitive. I think that's, I think we're in the Best op we have the best opportunity to do that because, well, DC obviously is a pretty big YouTube channel. We're actually going to get close to a million subs soon in the next couple months, which wow. I'm. We're going to make a video about it. We have no idea what we're going to do. It's going to be so probably terrible. You have a yacht yet? Can you buy a yacht? So this is a very common misconception, but I'm sure you you have the YouTube channel as well. You guys know how this works, but the demographic for Dota YouTube watchers is not particularly good as far as income is concerned. So when you look at, sure, we get a lot of views, but they don't translate into that much money, really. I mean, it's enough for me and Neil to live off of, but uh, aside from that, it's just, I, I, this sounds like I'm complaining. <laughs> Obviously, Does it sound yeah. like I'm complaining? You're living the dream, though. Come on. Yeah, like, you know I, it. I, I so. can't complain. Absolutely not. In fact, okay, this is actually really off topic because I go off on tangents all the time. Do you remember the first time we met? 
Uh, yeah, at TI3, I think it was. And it was hilarious. Why was it hilarious? You don't, I don't remember, remember I, no. Oh my god, okay, well, I was gonna interview you. I was like, oh, this is Team Liquid, cool. And the first thing I said, this is Hotbid from the Team Liquid manager. And then you're like, I'm not the Team Liquid manager. Like, all right, this wasn't in the interview because I just stopped it, we redid it. And it was, ve it was quite embarrassing and I'm very, I wasn't actually embarrassed because I'm, on, I'm dead inside, but. I'm, uh, I'm like the king of like not being embarrassed. Yeah. So like, I, I literally, I don't even remember, like I don't even remember, you know, like so. Well, why would you be embarrassed? There's no reason. No, 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 I'm, I'm I, uh, my reaction to awkward, mm. weird situations okay. like that is just like I zero, a zero impact on me. But at the end of the day, I, I blame Purge and Blitz because they, they actually did tell me you were their manager, so I don't feel I so was bad. kind of their manager though, like I, not really, because they have an official manager, so mm. like no, but yeah. I followed them around and like filmed them for like a month. Oh, we okay. released like a behind the scenes. Oh, yeah, that thing was yeah. awesome. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. I'm love glad that. you liked it. I love real time, you know, people love, what's it called, reality TV. It's reality Dota, man. Yeah. It's a gold mine. They, they need to have like a, like a TI boot camp for like all the teams in like one giant house. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, the summit was kind of like that, right? But you guys need to have like challenges outside of the game, like a, like an obstacle course or like a relay race or something. That would be really embarrassing for all these players because everybody's really out of shape. So myself. in that way, it'd be perfect. Exactly. Yeah. That's a gold mine. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take it and we're going to make something. So, um, in DC. <laughs> you should. I'm going to steal it. You, you have my blessing. <laughs> take the idea. Okay. Um, where's Reeves? Is he coming for TI? Yep. He's coming for the main event. Um, he actually recently quit his job to do this full time, which is pretty scary for him. What did he used to um, do? He used to. Oh, God. I don't. It's going to be something. Say it. I don't know what he's. He's like uh, something with doctors. Do you know what? He used I, to be a doctor. No, not a doctor. That's, it's that's, like, that's not embarrassing at I all. I think it's between a nurse and a doctor, maybe lower than a nurse. I don't know. He helped out with Is surgery. Janitor? Not quite janitor status, but he did help out with surgeries. But okay, so he's like an anesthesiologist. No, that's that's an actual doctor. That's like a really good, yeah. That's No, no, no. He's nowhere, no. No offense to Reeves. But anyway, he quit his job recently, and um, we just hadn't, didn't schedule it out correctly for him to come out before him, because he didn't know he was going to mm, quit his job okay. at the time. But he'll be here for the main event, and apparently I'll be casting a lot, so you'll probably be seeing more Reeves than me in the, in the lobbies. What, uh, what are you doing? Uh, what did you do before Dota Cinema? What was your job? Um, computer technician. So you were like IT? Unfortunately, I was for I worked for like GoDaddy and some other companies doing like on the phone tech support. Oh my god. It so was, was give me a story. Oh boy. Story. With my girlfriend standing here, it's going to be hilarious because I I picked up a chick once on the phone. No, you did. I swear to god. Okay. So so that so you're, you're you're a smooth talker then. That was that's pretty good. They just I don't know what it is. I don't feel like I have a good voice, but these women love my voice for whatever reason. And for whatever I okay, like so, moths to a flame. Yeah, so at GoDaddy, I was helping her. I was like, is she flirting with me? Maybe I should flirt back. But uh, yeah, it ended up not working out in the end. But she did. Never mind. I'm not going to go there. <laughs> okay. I was about to be like, this is something we're going to have my to girl, Yeah, My girlfriend's watching from the other side, and it's just, it's too awkward. It's too awkward. Okay, so um, your ID Suns fan, let's let's talk about that. Because I'm a big NBA fan. I'm excited that you're a big NBA fan. I, I don't think anyone else here really is. Um, and some big news happened recently. Um, you want you want to summarize it for us? Uh, LeBron James, I'm guessing you're talking about? Uh, yeah, he chose Cleveland, which is... I think it's good for the NBA, it's good for the Phoenix Suns because then we don't have to worry about the Miami Heat as much. We don't have to worry about the Cleveland Cavaliers as much, they're not going to be that good. They're going to be uh, good, dude. Come on. They're, they're going to be better than the Heat. Uh, they might be better than the Heat, but they're not championship caliber. They're too young. Like maybe two years down the road they'll be really good, but it's like, I don't know. It's a really good story for LeBron James and a lot of people are probably tuning out now because it's the NBA. And actually, very excited that we're talking about NBA because the one thing, so I'm very passionate about like Counter-Strike, Dota, but when it's basketball, it's just, I turn into an absolute nerd. 
Yeah, me too. I really, I mean, like, I don't even watch that much. I, like, look at all the box scores and stuff. Do you do that? I watch a lot of Suns games. Yeah, I mean, I'm, like, but I'm a Knicks fan, so, like, it's a little ugly. I've been to a few games, but, you know, like, they're, they're so bad these I last am, couple yeah, years. I am very sorry. But you did, got, did get Carmelo back, so that's yeah, good. Yeah, I feel I almost, like, part of me almost wanted to see him go to a good team. Do you know what I mean? Kind of, but for Carmelo, I feel like... Okay, from the outside looking in, he looks like the most selfish player in the world. I, I literally wouldn't want him on my team. Dude, you've never, he's never been in that situation, though. He's always been on a team with terrible defense. So it looks... That's true. It That's looks true. like he's selfish. So, like, when there was a remote possibility he would come to the Suns with LeBron James, I was like, okay, maybe if he's the second best player, he won't be... Did you see the everything. U.S. men's basketball team? Yes, he was that, amazing. Exactly. That's what I was thinking, because the only time he's been really, like, amazing, everybody, like, nobody had any hate for him was on the USA basketball team, and it's because he had all these great players around. He didn't have all this pressure on him. He wasn't a complete ball hog. It just seemed to work out a little bit better. And yeah, he could I blame be our coach more than, uh, than, than him for being a ball hog, though. The ISO offense was like very, uh, I mean, D'Antoni was okay when we had D'Antoni, but yeah, yeah. you know. Well, D'Antoni is an offensive, offensive genius at the end of the day, but, um, and I think the Miami Heat last year had the same problem. It was, their offense was garbage. They just have all these really good players and all they do is ISO, that's it. They have no actual game plan, that's why. Although I hate San Antonio, the Spurs, that is. Uh, Why do you hate them? Everyone loves them. You really want to know? Robert Ori, Steve Nash. Oh, okay. That's why he body checked them. Yeah, I know I hate, my history. I hate David Stern as well because of that. They, they made an example out of you guys. They banned you. That was your chance to win a championship. I don't need so to. What be year was that? Two thousand. Two thousand seven or something. Two thousand seven. Yeah. But now, and the funny thing is, so he got suspended for having his 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 foot yeah, over, over the line, line over the like line, he wasn't right? even intending to help out, right? Suspended. Now there's a new commissioner. Something happened exactly the same way, except he was actually off of the court, and they didn't get suspended. So the new Adam commissioner Silver. is quite good. Adam well, Silver is awesome. They had to set an example after the after the Palace stuff, right? Yeah. So well, it's more. Well, you should know this. The Knicks had a similar issue with Patrick Ewing back in the day. And that I, was like the first that was time the, that the Van Gundy on the on the yeah. ground. Yeah. yeah. I remember that. Didn't he get like his head split open by Latrell Sprewell or something? He got punched by one of his own players. Yeah. Um, accidentally. Um, Latrell Sprewell, you never know when it's accidental, right? So, um, <clears throat> yeah. Well, the Suns. You guys have a good. You guys have a good young core. Mm. Dragic got another foreign point guard who's very good. Yeah, Dragic, Bledsoe. We have a lot of young players. I don't know how amazing we're going to be because we didn't get any superstars. If we can somehow, I wanted to really get Kevin Love, but you're not really going to trade for somebody like that unless they sign long term. So um, you have to give up a lot if you want to tra trade yeah. for him. Yeah, for Cleveland's sure. trying to get him. If Cleveland gets him, then uh oh, then we're we're in trouble. I think but the league's in trouble. The good news is nobody wants to live in Cleveland. So no offense to anybody from Cleveland out there. See, th that's why they. Uh, they were so hurt when LeBron left because mm. he, he was like choosing Miami. He was like, every inadequacy and insecurity you've had over the past few years, yeah. it's true. You know, like, I'm leaving, you know. Yeah, and so. but it helped them out in the end because, I mean, nobody wants to go there, so they're never going to get a free agent without somebody like LeBron. Now they actually have a chance. Um, they get three. They have some voodoo magic. Three number one picks. Voodoo magic in the draft. Okay, the Suns have been in the league for like close to 50 years. We've never had a number one pick. The one, okay, the Suns are a cursed team, by the way. This is why it's so hurtful to be a Suns fan. The first, like, I forget which Literally year it was. Suns fan. Yeah, the, it literally as well. Thank you. We had a number one pick one time. It was tied with the Bucks. We had to flip a coin for the number one pick. We lost, of course, so we picked some worthless guy for number two. Guess who was the first pick? Who? Lou Alcindor. You know who Lou Alcindor is? Yes, I do. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. So, it sucks to be a Suns fan, but I'm happy with my life. <laughs> well, I mean, the, the Cavs, not only did they get the first pick, but they had a, what was it, protected first pick only in one of the years. Did they? And it was them versus Memphis, and it came down to them versus Memphis. And if Memphis got the first pick, mm. Suns would the, the Cavs would get nothing. Oh, okay. And if the Memphis got the second pick, Cavs would get the first pick. Is that is that when they got Kyrie? It might have been. It was one of those years. It wasn't the LeBron year. It was another one okay. of the years. And um, it's literally you could see the faces of the two executives, and it's it's like <laughs> so much money is like riding on it. And then like they open the pick, and it's the Cavs, yeah. and they literally would have gotten nothing if it wasn't the first pick. And then you know they they have some voodoo voodoo deal. That's why. I, see, I actually think that is proves that the lottery isn't rigged. Do you know what I mean? No. 
do you know why I think that? Because no. if they really wanted to rig the lottery, they would not give Cleveland all those picks. They would have made LeBron go to New York, given like some other good teams the picks. Like, why would you give Cleveland three picks? Like, I guess that's true. It's I such mean, a like tiny, terrible market. Like, they don't know that. They don't know LeBron's going back there. Man, we're talking so much crap about Cleveland right now. <laughs> that I city. Hope, uh, oh, seriously, I, I seriously hope they win. I seriously hope they win the championship. Uh, really? Like, if it wasn't Knicks, I want Cleveland to win, just okay. because I feel like they, they deserve it. They, I feel like they've already gotten what they deserved, LeBron James and three number one picks. So all the bad karma that was created with LeBron leaving, he comes back in a good situation with all these picks. So it's just like, give me a break. I'm not rooting for them. Okay. I don't hate them, but I'm not rooting for them. I'm if sorry. You, if, you had to make, uh, if you had to make NBA to uh, Dota team comparisons, if we had to, we had to make an allegory, okay. who would the Spurs be? Well, it has to be a team I hate, which I don't hate any team, which is unfortunate. So I'll just eliminate that factor. Um, well, let's go. Let's do. Let's go by Dota teams then. Who's Who's EG? Okay, EG. I love EG. They're the Phoenix Sun. No, not quite. Um, God, I hate the Lakers. And I hate the Spurs. And so I think they're the Thunder. Okay. They're like young. They're like young. Okay, they're, they got a really good. Okay. They might the, be able to overhype. They were the Thunder when they had James Harden. Okay. I don't think they're the Thunder anymore. Okay. It's actually it's a pretty good question though. I'd I'd have to think about this for a while. Who would Navi be? They, they're the fan favorites. They'd probably be Miami Heat from last year. I don't know. The Miami Heat were not the fan favorites. Everyone hated them. Yeah. Well, a lot of people hate Navi too. Uh, it's a love hate uh, relationship. You know. Possibly. Um, yeah, I get. I mean, I, I was thinking Navi is like the Celtics. They got some old vets, won the championship before. I hate the Celtics. I don't. It's so hard because I have. To, <laughs> I hate so many basketball teams. Yeah. Uh, and the Phoenix Suns are. What team out of the Phoenix Suns? Fanatic. Fanatic. They're underrated. They have the same colors, even. They, they have the same colors. I, I've actually, I really, they're my favorite team, Fanatic. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm very biased, actually. That's good. Uh, it's I, from, a, it's a Han thing. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it actually makes perfect sense. That's an easy one. Okay. Um, and the, let's say, let's say, uh, who's Alliance? Alliance the Spurs? Actually, I mean, that, before this tournament. Right, that is actually a good comparison, other than the fact that I hate the Spurs. So if I forget the fact that I hate the Spurs, yes, Alliance would be the Spurs. That's a really good. I like that. They beat the Spurs before. So this next, next basically this next year, the Spurs aren't going to make the playoffs. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> hey, if Tim Duncan just dies because he's so old, he just dies of old age, they're not going to make the playoffs. <laughs> I mean, okay. I mean, it's you they never still know make the guy. playoffs if he doesn't. He's like 80 he, years old. If he doesn't play, they still make the playoffs. I don't think so. Really? You no, think so? No, it's Kawhi the Leonard, man. He's good. If he was in, yeah, Kawhi Leonard's a beast, but Tony Parker's good. They'd be very low seed. Like, they'd be like the Suns from last year. So it's, I don't know, it's so tough to predict the West. It's so stacked. That's why the East just makes me sick. The East is like the NA server. It's perfect. That That's another good comparison. Very yeah. good. You've been thinking about this. I like that. I, I thought about it, yeah. That's I did. good. I like that. Okay. Uh, so, doing the noob cast with Purge? What do yeah. you think about Purge? He said he said he likes casting with you. So. Uh, he's a complete douche. But other than that, no, he's... So, when we were getting picked, uh, I had to put in a good word for that guy. Because he wasn't originally picked, apparently. Uh -huh. I was like, he, this guy's made for this cast. I mean, he's... <coughs> yeah, it's like what obvious, he, right? It's like the yeah. most obvious decision ever. This is what he does for a living. I just add a little flair. He carries me, just like Cinder and carries me in my other cast. I'm just... I get carried a lot. Come on, let's not let's not be too let's not downplay the the role of the color guy. Mm. Uh, I think uh, I think people enjoy the humor. I think humor is a hard thing to, to convey. Apparently, um, yeah, I have to control myself. Uh, that's true. The noob cast, especially. So it's I know you. I know there's always a dirty joke brewing in the back of your mind, and you just you just want to let it out, and you can't because you're trying well, to be nice. Yeah, I'm more worried about the All Star match to be honest, because oh, yeah. I'm allowed to be more comical, if you will. But uh -huh. it's like I still have to control myself to a certain degree, and that's what I'm. I'm terrified, actually. <laughs> so I think I have to like preface the whole. Who are you casting? Who are you casting the All Star match? It'll with? be with Lysander, Lysander. Uh, which I've never cast with. So that's another unknown thing that we have going here but uh, just make fun of his accent I'm sure you'll appreciate that yeah I'm just gonna be called a racist or something I don't know it's I'm not being serious like don't do that I, I just might now you put the thought in my head you can't take it away now so okay. I don't know but yeah, I had to like preface the whole all-star match with if I say like if I'm like starting to talk about something and I say oh never mind that means I was about to say something completely inappropriate so 
it may not sound very hard, but it very, it's very difficult for me to control myself, the, the volume of my voice and the things that I say, but I have to okay. for Valve. Tell me about, tell me about uh, the Suns fan outside of the game. What do you do? What do you, other than being a basketball fan, what do, you, uh, what, do you, what do you do for fun? Pretty much nothing. I have two kittens. Nice. And I'm, a, I'm obsessed with them. I mean, everyone would be obsessed with kittens when they have them, so. Yeah, it's true. It's not like you get kittens, you just leave them on the side and just like do something else. Like, yeah, you have to love them. Yeah. I don't know, I'm very, I would say I'm pretty boring, actually. I, I like movies, just general stuff, nothing specific like other what? than. Have you want to see Transformers with me? You gonna make me walk out of this interview? Huh? We'll go right now. No, I, meaning I hate the Transformers. What? <laughs> Who likes Transformers? It's horrible. I like Transformers. Why? Because it's amazing. What, what makes it amazing? I'm really interested. There's I'm interviewing you now, you? Hop-It. Do you? Hold on. Why do you like the Transformers? God, may God have mercy on your soul. Okay, there's a... Transformers is a, is a sort of like spectacle in itself. I really feel that Michael Bay makes it like it's intentionally like the way it is. And I've, I really just, I like sit there and I just embrace it. Do you think Michael it. Bay can make any other kind of movie? Have you ever watched Bad Boys 2? Yes. And did you like it? Yes. Did you like Armageddon? I hate you. Did you? Yes, I liked it. So right now we're, we're two for two that you liked. All right, these, these movies were in the 90s. Yeah, did you like The Rock? 90s. Okay. And has he made a movie since 2000 that hasn't been complete garbage? See, I really feel like Michael Bay's career progression has gotten to the point where it's like, those movies were about asteroid hitting the Earth. Two cops, like, you know, fighting against all odds. Escaped convict from Alcatraz. And then as, as like, they get more and more towards now, my, the Michael Bay in them becomes greater and greater until now it's just Michael Bay does robots. Like, that's what the movie's about, right? So basically you're saying... Anymore. It's Michael Bay does a movie about robots. So he transitioned from good movies into movies with no storyline and all graphics. Yeah, and it's great. Okay, I can, okay. if you can go into the movie... Watched, have you ever been excited for a movie with a 9% rating on not Rotten Tomatoes? Because I am. Uh, That's what Michael Bay has done to me. That's why I appreciate him. Human Centipede 2. That is a great movie. Human Centipede 2. <laughs> have you seen it? Yeah, of course. Black and white. It's even more disgusting than the first one. Oh, my God. That was a beauty. But yeah, I, okay, if somebody can go into a Michael Bay movie, it's telling me, okay, I know this is, technically speaking, a terrible movie, meaning well, no storyline. it's amazing. Okay, t okay fine. Plot wise it's okay. awful. That's, okay, the terminology, that's like, correct, yes. Awful, like awful where you want to watch it awful. Okay, that if you, okay, if you're, if you're feeling that way, then that's perfectly fine. I have no problem with you liking Transformers. Yeah, but it's like a circle where you're, like, you, it's so bad that you, you almost just enjoy it. Do you know what I, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, you just, like, genuinely kind of enjoy it. Okay, some movies, yes, but not Michael Bay. You can take over the interview now. Okay. I'm disgusted with you still. <laughs> All right, okay. Well, we're gonna have to go see it. You have to watch it with me. We'll have fun. If I'm gonna watch it with anybody, it'll be with you. Okay, now. all right. Okay. Um, um, do you have, do you have shout-outs, call-outs you want to give? Uh, Shout-out to all the Twitch people for helping us survive that, that beautiful night in, uh, in Arizona. Uh, thanks to Hopin, Team Liquid, everybody from Dota Sim, all our volunteers, Reeves, my girlfriend Nikki, uh, Sindarin and Purge for helping me be a better caster. Uh, yeah, I'm very, I, I don't know if it seems like sometimes I'm joking too much or maybe I'm not genuine all the time, but I'm really happy with my life. Uh, and it didn't really take the robbery for me to know that, but it becomes more evident after like a life-threatening situation that I'm so lucky to be where I am. And I mean, Valve is just- Thanks to Dota community for making that happen. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's just, it's a pleasure to be alive in these times, I guess. Okay, and give me a call out then. What is a call out? It's like the opposite of a shout out. It's like, you know, like yell at a hater or something. Somebody I hate? Yeah. Mm. No one, you got no one? Do I hate anybody? Uh, screw all the Spurs fans in the world. <laughs> That's good. And nice. sorry, and Lakers. Lakers actually hate more than the Spurs. So That's actually they got Jeremy Lin. It's kind of hard for me. I, I like Jeremy Lin. Jeremy, I know, that was very sad. Uh, I'm gonna. You got to cheer against them now. It's too bad. No, I can. I can still cheer for an individual and then root against the team because their team's gonna be complete garbage, which I'm truly, truly happy about. So, thank you, Lakers, for sucking so much balls this year. Okay. Thank you, and uh, I look forward to the. TI edition fails. Yes, it should be fun.